Hey guys! Oh god! Ah. <laughs> oh my god. Hey guys, it is so hot in this car because it is not on. So hold on, let me turn on this car real quick. Either way, it's gonna be hot because there's no AC in this car, but you know, we're gonna have to deal with it. And I'm wearing a sweater. So that's great. What the hell? This car's not turning on, and I don't know what's going on. Okay, there you go, it's on. It is so freaking hot right now, and I'm afraid that my neighbors are going to see me talking in my car, which I really hope they don't, because that will be very bad, but I'm sweating like bejesus up in here. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. So yeah, guys, I passed my... I'm just gonna roll up the windows because I'm afraid someone's gonna hear me. But yeah, guys, I passed my driving test. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't really gone to drive by myself yet. I drove to school like twice by myself, but other than that, I, I haven't driven, driven by myself. So yeah, that's what this video is driving by myself for the first time alone. So. Uh, Yes. Oh, by the way, I bought a Konkin. Um, I do have footage of me unboxing it, so I'll play that right now. <sighs> the reason why I'm filming this clip right now is because I got an Amazon package. I ordered something, and I'm going to show you. Where the flipping flip are my scissors, mate? Do I not have scissors? What the trick? What the flying flip? Let me go get some scissors. <laughs> you got these tiny little baby scissors. <laughs> there you go. We love an unboxing video. <laughs> I ordered this two days ago. Because I went to the mall, and they didn't have this, so I just ordered it on Amazon, because, you know, why the flip not? <sighs> and I've been wanting a Konkin for so freaking long now. It's been months since I wanted one, and I've always, like, debated if I should get it or not, and I always just didn't get it. But I was like, fuck it, I am going to get it. And I was debating between black or red, and I ended up getting... <laughs> but I got the ox red, which is like just the dark red color. I have to check if this is fake, to be honest, cause you know, Amazon be, you know, trying to scam you sometimes. So you gotta check if it's fake. So I'll probably check later, be like there's key signs to tell if it's fake or not. So that's what I'm gonna do. We got a Konkin and now I can be a basic ass hoe. I bought this so like when I go places and travel, I can like bring this with me and I don't have to bring my trashy Jansport school backpack. I'm not bringing this to school. We're gonna open this up and hopefully Hopefully, it is not a fake. Okay. Look at that. That looks, that looks cute. I feel like everyone has black, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get red to be different. Even though a lot of people have red too, but you know, less people have red, so I got it. It's really cute, right? Or am I just tripping? Watch this trend end in like a month, <laughs> and I just bought it. This was mother flipping expensive. Lately, I've just been throwing my money down the drain on random things that I've been wanting, so I've been like kind of splurging on myself, so. I think I deserve it. Uh, that was my unboxing. So yeah, got a Konkin. Hopefully y'all like that unboxing video. I hope the fan isn't too loud, by the way, and like the car isn't too loud. If it is, fuck, sorry about it. Um, I can't really control that, okay? I'd rather not burn. This car doesn't have AC because it's like a really old car. It's my dad's car. I do have a newer car, but I just haven't driven it that much yet because my parents want me to get used to driving first before I like drive the new car because I might, you know, crash it and I don't feel like um, dying. So we're just using the old car. Hold on. Let me put a jacket on this steering wheel because I'm... 
I accidentally turned on the wipers and I did not mean to. So right now we are going to head to the post office because I have to ship out an item that I sold on Mercari because I posted some clothes on Mercari and I'm selling it. This is actually my first sale ever because I just started selling on Mercari. This is actually my first time shipping out an item too. Hopefully it goes all well. To be honest, I was hella confused on how to ship an item, but I just put it in a box, printed out the label, taped it on, I'm gonna head to the post office, and hopefully they take it. I don't really know how shipping and like selling online works, so, and I'm gonna take it to the post office and hope for the best. Oh my god, someone just rode past me on a bike. That was awkward. Okay, we're gonna start driving. I've been here for like 10 minutes talking, so I need to start driving. Oh, there's another one. Oh god. There's another biker. Oh my god. There's another one. We're leaving. Oh my god. Also, I haven't showered in three days. So, I must smell great. Okay, we're leaving. So we're heading off. We're gonna go. We're gonna skirt skirt up in this hizzy hizzy. Okay, we're gonna go. Hope you guys can see me right now. Siri, can you shut the fuck up so I can like talk for a second? Um, thanks. Oh, okay, this car just switched lanes and that was, you know, illegal. So... Okay, that's chill. How do people vlog and drive? I have to focus on driving, like I can't even talk right now. Am I going left? Yes, I'm going left, okay. Fuck, 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 fuck. Driving makes me nervous. How do people drive to relax? This shit's stressful. How do people do this? Oh god, well how do people drive for... For fun? That's the real question. I have to turn right here, but this car is here, so I'm like slowing down. Oh god, oh god, oh god, okay. Oh, oh, oh my god. That was, that was crazy shit right there. I just like switch lanes very dangerously. Oh my god, stressful. That shit was stressful. I gotta switch lanes now? What the fuck? It's almost as if switching lanes is a part of driving. I hate this. I hate driving. Just kidding, I kind of love it, but it's kind of not relaxing. So basically, I'm gonna tell the story on how I passed my driving test. So, hold on. Okay, oh no, too dark. Please don't park next to me, please don't park next to me, please don't, please, thank goodness, they did not park next to me. I've never said thank goodness in my entire life. I sound like an actual grandma. So guys, I made it to the post office, I think and i just stressed the fuck out so my camera ran out of memory while i was driving and then when getting here i was like behind this car realized i needed to turn right so i like went in between the car and the curb and i was like i don't even know if i'm allowed to do this but i did it anyways and i didn't get honked at so i don't think i was doing anything wrong but you know i made it and i kind of parked as far away as possible to be honest i did kind of a good job parking and i'm a horrible parker on both my driving tests at the end i parked crooked they didn't test me on that so i didn't fail there's so many cars leaving and i have so much fucking anxiety i don't want people to look at me <laughs> i don't want people to look at me so right now i'm gonna go in the post office and ship this package and then i'll be right back hey guys that was the most awkwardest shit i've ever experienced in my entire life so okay bitch motorcycles stop so i went into the post office note that i've never shipped anything in my entire life i've never even been to a post office before so i went in and there was like a drop-off box and i was like oh like do i put it in here or do i like go to the front like i did not know what i was supposed to be doing then i just wait there i'm awkwardly looking around for straight up like five minutes people are staring at me like who is this five-year-old and who let them bring a package to this post office by themselves and then i see a man who works there i'm like hey so like i sold an item online and they told me like drop it off here i don't know what i'm supposed to do and then he was like yeah you can drop it off there or you can like go to the side over here so i went to the side over there and i'm just awkwardly waiting there for like two minutes people are in line i went ahead of them and like i didn't want them to think i was cutting them so i was awkwardly standing there and no one showed up but, like i didn't know what i was supposed to be fucking doing and i didn't know if i was supposed to put the box in this like cart of boxes or if i was supposed to drop it off so i just awkwardly walked back to to the drop-off box and I just put it in there and I left and I don't even know if I did that shit correctly hopefully if not I just lost a perfectly good sweater oh my god someone's parking next to me this is awkward I'm gonna pretend I'm on my phone right now I'm gonna pretend I'm on my phone talking ta blah 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 okay I don't think he gives two fucks I'm here but I'm just gonna talk to you guys while pretending to talk on my 
Okay, he's leaving. <laughs> Whatever. That was a very awkward situation for me. That's what happened in the post office. It was really, really awkward. I'm gonna drive home now. I'm at 3%, so hopefully... I hope my GPS doesn't die on me and I can't even find where I live. Okay, I'm gonna stop filming and then I'll film when I get home and then I'll tell you guys a story about passing my driving test. Okay, this was really stressful and I just hate this. Oh my gosh, guys, you guys just missed my actual stupidity. Um, so basically I was reversing and I was like, what the fuck? My wheel won't move. And I was like trying to reverse and like I couldn't go anywhere. Like it, my wheel wouldn't move. You know fucking why? It's because I didn't even turn on my fucking car. So yeah, I was like- mile, turn right on to I was like, this is not reversing, oh shit, I was low-key having a panic attack. I literally got out of my car and was looking at my wheels, and this old man was like, what the fuck are you doing? Well, he didn't say that, but it, you could tell this old man was looking at me like, this bitch doesn't know how to drive. Who let this five-year-old drive? So I went out, I was like, okay, nothing's wrong with my wheels. So I went back in, and that's when I noticed my car wasn't fucking turned on. I was basically in the street because I reversed and couldn't do anything. Let me br br break down real quick. So basically, this is the parking lot. Yes, it's a great model here's my car yes i put an image of tesla let me live that's me freaking out over my car and um yeah as you can see it's kind of um in the middle of the parking lot and it's not supposed to be that way yeah so then i turned it on and i was like shit that was the most stupidest thing i've ever done in my entire fucking life what is this car doing it's like reversing what the Oh, okay, he gave the little hand to say thank you. He was like reversing back into the street. It was so weird. But you know, you said thank you, so I'll let that one slide. I don't know why I did that voice. That was kind of stupid. I need to turn left, but this car is right here on my ass. I just passed my turn. That's fucking great. And we are back at my house. That was way too fucking stressful when i was driving i missed my turn and then i did so many lane changes i was like holy fucking shit how did i survive well that was the most stressful thing i've ever done in my entire life like my head hurts my head actually hurts oh my god guys I, I still need to recover from what just happened <laughs> So I took my driving test last week on Friday, so it's been quite a while, but I had a three-day weekend, and I didn't drive by myself for a few days because of the insurance. I had to wait for the insurance to activate. So then after that activated, I got to drive for the first time by myself to school on Thursday and Friday. But I only got to drive to school and then drive back home, so it didn't really count. So today was actually like my first real day driving to a place that I needed to go to. So on Friday, my driving instructor picked me up early from school, and then we went to the DMV. On the morning of my test and throughout the day, I was just stressing, shaking, talking about it. I was just so nervous. So we get to the DMV, we're in line, and I'm like so freaking nervous because I did drive to the DMV with my driving instructor, and I did make some errors. Like, I was would drive too fast or like turn left but not go in the closest lane and all that so I was already like messing up because I didn't get that much practice after I failed like I barely even drove oh yeah forgot to mention um I failed my driving test the first time if you guys did not know so so then we went I got the same guy the same grader and we took the test and I was actually shaking through the whole test I was literally, like like that and I was like <sighs> breathing hella heavy, but I ended up passing, so... And if you guys are wondering, I only made one mistake. It was when I was reversing the car and I forgot to do a traffic check. So yeah, now I can drive. Honestly, all this footage is probably trash, so I'm gonna go inside and edit this and see what kind of footage I got and what I can work with.